I had to practice what I preach yesterday, last night. I was having like uh, just kids yelling, uh, stress at work. And then all of a sudden, like you get like these ghosted body pains and you get like a headache and you feel weird pains in your chest. And I recognized, like at first I was buying into it, like, oh man, I'm gonna die. You know, and a lot of times it's because of like heartburn, classic Tony Soprano, like if the world starts swirling. And I was in my room and it was like 7, 30, 8 o'clock. I, I, the kids had, you know, just maybe gone to bed and I was buying into it like, oh man, I'm losing it. And then I, re I heard a, a, a voice in my heart and in my mind about all the stuff that I've been saying. Like it, it came back to me at preaching to myself. And I was like, oh, okay, I got to exercise faith here. And it's so weird because when you're in the middle of the storm, you can't it's hard to get going. It's hard to speak it out. It's hard to like pray. You get all trapped up and locked up. You can't, and then fear and all this stuff like it attacks you and it's hard to pray. But I just didn't. I was like, Father, I prayed out and I said, I, I got help. Give me faith. Help me exercise faith. And I did some breathing. And then I prayed over myself. I, I prayed the blood of Jesus. I casted out any attack and I cast the devil out in Jesus' name. I prayed the blood of Jesus. And then I prayed Psalms 23 over myself. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leads me beside still waters causes me to lay down in green pastures. He anoints my head with oil and heals all my diseases. And then once I said that, I, I, my faith connected, my belief connected to his true word. You heal all my diseases, Lord. All. There cannot be, you cannot allow any sort of, even though they come, all right? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You will go through it. You will experience all kinds of spiritual warfare and even physical warfare. But, all, you know, things that start in, in the heavens is what manifests physically. Okay, so it usually starts in the heavens so once I said all and then it clicked it was like all so even this even what I'm going through now all the promises are yes and amen in Jesus Christ all of them so even though there are dispensations and there are you have to rightly divide the word go ahead some bikers Gotta be careful of them bikers even though there are Scriptures for this and scriptures for that. In Jesus Christ, as a born-again Christian, Christian, all the promises are yes and amen. So I can claim Psalms 91 and Psalms 23. And when I did that, my faith connected. It, I burped. This huge burp. And it was just like this huge ball of gas that was like clumped up in my chest. And it was causing all kinds of like freak outs in my mind and in my body. And once it connected, I'm not kidding you, I literally had a huge burp and it was gone. Amen. Miracle. So I am, you got to understand when you, when you see YouTube people or preachers, those type of people, it's usually because they've had to exercise it and learn it and go through battles and then learn, like, I got to preach to myself to survive. So anybody who's listening to this, 
and is using my words and other YouTube channels like like I do. I sleep with TOL Nightwatch, uh, Joseph Prince, uh, E.W. Kenyon, Old Sermons. I sleep with it so that I'm I'm constantly listening and and affirming faith in my heart and in my mind to help me sleep. And I listen to things all day long. I pre I listen to the, the things I say sometimes. And I'm like, wow, yeah. And, I, and then boom, like last night. And then it connected. All my diseases you heal. And then it released in Jesus' name. So right now, what you got to do, and you know, praying for others is powerful. But really, until that person exercises and connects with God with their own faith, the power doesn't move. It can, and it does all the time. But for yourself, connect. All my diseases, all my sicknesses, Jesus took on the cross, all of them. And by your wounds, we were healed. Peter talks about it as if it was the past tense. It is finished. All sicknesses, all diseases, all pains, fears, troubles, you have healed in Jesus' name, all. And now we say thank you, and we move forward. That's the Christian paradigm. Thank you. Move forward. Have your faith. Connect with God. Experience it. Let me know. Let others know. And let yourself know. Thank you, Lord. Speak it out in Jesus' name, amen.